In this project, we are going to be exploring how we can power the Mach 7219 LED matrix with the Raspberry Pi. If you are excited, then let's start exploring. Discuss how we're going to connect the Mach 7219 LED matrix into our Raspberry Pi Zero. So this is the pricing diagram of how we're going to connect both those components. And from the link below, which is the library that we're going to use, we're going to follow the GPI, GPIO pinouts in here. So just a note in here, the Mach 7219 component that I have only exposes five pins in here while the four LED matrix are actually interconnected with each other wherein the D out of this pin is connected to the D in of the other but from the point of view of the uh, Raspberry Pi we're just gonna be connecting into the uh, one Mac 7219 and we, we are sending the data across the other LED matrix that is cascaded with each other. It's actually possible to cascade uh, multiple LED matrix with each other and we can control it through the Python code. So to discuss the GPIO pinout, we just need to understand this table here or in the BCC of the LED LED matrix is connected to the Pi volts rail of the Pi zero, which is here. The ground connections are connected with each other, which is pin, uh, uh, pin six of the Pi zero. The data in is connected to the GPIO ten or the MOSI uh, pin, while the chip select pin and the clock, which is used for the SPI communication is connected in both pin 23 and pin 24 respectively. Okay, so now we'll start wiring our Mac 7219 into the Raspberry Pi Zero. So this is the Mac 7219 component that I got. If we take a look at the output, here, you will see that we have the five pins that I've mentioned in the printing diagram, the BCC, the ground, the data in, the chip select, and the clock. And the four MAC7219 are connected with each other, wherein the D out of one MAC7219 is connected to the D in of the other, while the four pins are just connected serially with each other. Okay, so to connect this one, we'll just have to follow the diagram that I mentioned. So, accordingly, it says that the BCC should be connected to pin 2 of the Raspberry Pi. Okay, the, the ground should be connected to pin 6, which is the ground also of the Raspberry Pi Zero. The data in part should be connected to pin 19, which is the GPIO 10 or the MOSI. Okay. While the chip select pin is connected to pin 24 while the clock pin is connected to pin 23 which is the SPI clock. 
Okay? There you have it. That's all the connection that we need. Okay? So, okay, so let's discuss how we're going to uh, power up the Mac 7219 from the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to make use of this excellent library called the Luma.LED Matrix. So I'll put the link in the description of this video. Uh, in our case, we'll just follow along with how to install the uh, this particular library. Okay? So the prerequisites should be followed. So in our case in here, let's just verify if everything is installed especially the SPI which is the interface that we're gonna be using to connect with the Mac 7219 I have already done the steps in here so if, if you will just follow along with the steps in here then you'll be able to uh, complete everything so in our case let's just verify if the SPI is enabled okay so the SPI is enabled in, in my case and let's verify if there are devices also that are connected in here. Okay, so there is uh, SPI devices connected in my Pi Zero. If ever that uh, nothing is showing as shown in here, then you'll just have to enable the SPI in our Raspberry Pi Zero. In our case, we are operating the Raspberry Pi in headless mode. So we'll just have to configure it uh, manually using the command line so in our case here let, let's just follow along with the steps in here so you go to the sudo raspi config and go to the interfacing section search for the SPI and then would you like to enable just click yes and then ok and then exit and then after that one execute sudo reboot Okay, in my, in my case, I have already executed that, uh, those steps, so I will not, uh, there's no need for me to execute th those commands. And then, after executing those commands, just do the validation in here if everything is working fine, as correctly. And then, uh, at the last step, you need to install everything with PyP. So, in my case, just follow along with the steps in here. I have already done these two steps, so you can execute these steps. And for the installation section, we're gonna be executing this one. Okay? So, by the way, the changes that you need to do in here is since we are executing in Python 3, we'll need to change the pip into pip3 and then enter. This will verify if the Luma.LED matrix is uh, installed. If not, then it will upgrade the Luma.LED matrix. In my case, since I have already up, uh, installed the Luma.LED, so the message here is that there's no need for me to update anymore. Okay? After that one, then we can go into this... Uh, the project in GitHub for this one, for the Luma.LED matrix. And we can take a look at the matrix demo in here. This is where I base my, my own implementation or changes in the Luma LED matrix. So I have my own implementation in here. So the, I place it in the Raspberry Pi projects. I'll put the link into uh, my documentation in the link documentation of the video, so you can follow along also. The main thing that uh, I changed in my case is that you, we can actually cascade as many uh, matrix, but since I have only four, I have to change the cascaded ba uh, parameter to four and the black orientation to negative ninety. So, these are the two uh, items that I just did to be able to have an output in my Mac 7219. 
the process still remains the same in the matrix demo. So, so I have here the show welcome. So it just shows the, the message. And the other one is the vertical message in here. So the vertical message is some sort of a scrolling. So since we're, we are exploring IoT or Internet of Things in here, so I just put words in here, which is hello, IoT word. And then the show header, which is uh, basically just drawing something. So in my case, I, I just put the my YouTube channel in here. Okay. Now, uh, as I verified, I copied the same code in here. And then if we take a look, it's the same code in the GitHub. To execute this code, I just have to execute sudo python3 max7219. Then we'll be, we'll be able to see the text in here, which is a welcome screen. And then the vertical scrolling, which is the hello IoT world. And the branding of my, uh, branding and showing message, which is the my YouTube channel, okay, and that's about it. So that's how you you can uh, power Mach seven two one nine matrix with the Raspberry Pi zero. Again, happy exploring.